Where did they end up? Probably a battlefield or something. Tame. Yes. Battlefield. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what see what Vale's got. This is his first time I've ever seen him play, and this is a character that I never see in tournament. Yep. Uh, Hawaii doesn't have any Falco players. Um, not uh, Falco, not known for being like one of the stronger characters in this game, but definitely, uh, I wouldn't sleep on him. No, nah, he, he can still do things. It's just that it's very difficult to get them to happen, and it's like you take a lot of punishment. Yeah. In the and meantime. Um, from his spacey counterpart, Fox is actually a very, like, really good character in this game. He has a lot of weird stuff he can do to a lot of characters, and um, his neutral game is just really strong. He's very fast as well. Yeah. Falco does lack that speed. One thing, one thing Falco does have better, that's better than Fox's though is his side B. Like when you do the short drop, um, short jump, short jump side B, mm -hmm. it's so lagless, man. Good throw by Dan M. Got him off. Ooh, Ooh the people's elbow that uh, reaches so far, kills so early. The too. lean back. The <laughs> lean back. Ooh, he went for it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Dan L is looking very comfortable right now. He's got mid percent against a character not known for a killing. Yep. Falco never really killed easily in Brawl, and uh, in this game, it's, it's not that much easier. Yeah, his, uh, his back air definitely took a hit in kill power. Um, his up smash is really weak as well. Yeah. Okay, good oh. trade for Vale. Looks like Dan, L Dan M tried to down air him right there. I felt like maybe he could have um, down smashed right there. I felt like Falcon kind of went a little bit above the lip. Oh, wow, that was unfortunate. He cl he actually overlapped him with the side B, but it didn't hurt him. I guess the hitbox doesn't extend that far. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost got it again. Yeah, um, he, he had the right idea. Yeah, Vale definitely got to watch out for um, side being back onto the stage. Danim definitely clicking on picking up on that real quick and mm -hmm. doing very efficient punishes. Ooh. Nice spacing by Vale. And Dan M nodding in approval always gives his opponents props when they uh, outplay him. Yeah, he, he, he spaced out, like, like you said, very good spacing. Um, spaced out that neutral really well and just caught him with that forward smash. Yeah, it was kind of pseudo conditioning because he was short hopping with his back to him, fainting like a back air, and then he just uh, forward smashed. Yeah, and that was jank. Did you see that? Yeah, that was. <laughs> he like down through and was just like, okay, I guess you're off the stage. Nice uh, Raptor Ooh. boost, but it, no rage, so... Yep. If he had a little bit of rage, he would have got that kill. Won't end it. But Vale, this is uh, pretty much his one more of those, and he'll probably be dead. So now is his time. Oh, he's going for the Gimp. The second forward air was a little greedy. Gave up stage control, and he might pay for it here. Falcons throws do kill in this game. Mm -hmm. He oh. needs to watch out. That's getting really close. Yep. Oh, oh, oh wow. Man. He missed oh. the ledge again. The fadeaway side B will close that game out. Yeah, so, but Vale's got a counter pick in his pocket, so we'll see what he what he does. He might change characters. Yeah, definitely. All the people that are working on that are people that, a lot of them have been to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, wow, that's, that's kind of a neat coincidence. Mac, Max Ketchum, of course, on his way. On his way, yep, yeah, to be way. one of the Hawaii homies. Nice, nice dashing around, does get that grab. Oh, that was cute. That was a little cute uh, fake out by Dan M. Trying to read a jump, I guess. Mm -hmm. Relatively safe. Oh, <laughs> oh, that side beat to stage doesn't get punished. So he he does on Vale does end up staying with Falco. Yeah, runs it to Smashville. I'm curious as to why this wasn't the first stage. I yeah. guess uh, it might have been Vale's pick last, and he might have left it open. Mm -hmm. But I guess he didn't like it too much. Maybe we'll 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 we'll, we'll find out later. I mean, ah. in my opinion, I think uh, Battlefield does benefit Captain Falcon more, more mm -hmm. so than Falco. This is the part of the game where Vale has to take advantage because he has the rage, and before he loses it, he should try to get a, an early kill if he can. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good, good jabs. Much easier to gentleman in this game, just the jab, jab, knee, without getting the, the rapids. Yep. And that forward, another kill from Dan M with a forward smash, so all three stocks so far from this game, Dan M has gotten kills with his forward smash. And I think that one was just from reacting to a roll, or he just kind of read a roll and he just threw it out. This is probably really hard for Falco too, because he's a fast faller still, and Falcon combos fast fallers uh, pretty easily at low percent. Yeah, and the and usually in this game, if you're a fast faller, it's like you get comboed, but like in return you get a lot of mobility and speed. But Falco 
is a fast faller and doesn't get that mobility and speed. So it's kind of like he got the uh, poop end of the stick. <laughs> very good near to the ground oh. up air by Dan M. So close. Got the, the uh, neutral air afterwards. Yeah, that was almost it. Oh. Ooh. And Dan M is just slowly but surely really extending this lead, and the back air gonna is going to close it out. All right, good games to both players. Dan M will advance round two.